cardio workout, great for burning those extra calories, getting a nice flat stomach that you've always wanted. If you don't already, hit the subscribe button down below. We'll be uploading new videos each week for you to follow and help you achieve all of your fitness goals. Today, try and follow the prompts on screen and try and keep along with us as best you can. So without further ado, let's get started. Paul's going to be starting with some high knees today, guys. So what he's trying to do is get his knees nice and high in line with his hips, trying to keep a nice upright posture looking straight ahead. Okay, now he's going down into some sit-ups. So we're supersetting, guys. That means doing two exercises back to back. So again, try and keep along with us as best you can. Core engaged, tummy in nice and tight, guys. So what you want to be doing is to make sure that your navel is as close to your spine as you can. Also notice that he's looking straight ahead through his knees the whole time. He's stopping just before his shoulder blades get down to the floor. Excellent. So again guys, working with higher reps, 15 repetitions. That's your tone and definition zone guys. Very good repetition range to work within. Excellent. So we've got three rounds of this to go, guys. Okay guys, so moving into exercise number two now. Paul's going to be doing some jump leaps. So he's basically going down into a nice deep squat and from there he's going to leap forwards. Now you can leap forwards as far as you feel comfortable going, but three feet's probably a good place to aim for. As he lands as well, notice that what he's doing is he's getting nicely low guys. That's so that he can absorb the pressure from the jump and so that that doesn't go through your knees too much. He's also trying to maintain a nice upright posture as he do this, does this, and he's trying to engage his core. So the core wants to be engaged all the time. So engaging your core, guys, you might know already, you're essentially trying to get your legs as close to your spine as you can, but you want to maintain your breath and keep breathing. So again, guys, you to go for 15 degrees, he's doing a great job, I hope you're doing well at home as well. Try to keep pushing through right to the end. Remember guys, if at any point you need to stop and grab a drink of water, that's fine. It's really important to keep hydrated. And if you enjoy our videos, guys, remember to hit the like button down. 
down the road. So again, you might be going to be doing the super set. So as soon as Paul's finished doing his 15 of these, he's going to move straight into his next exercise. That's a good way to keep your heart rate up and ensure that you learn your calories, guys, which is what we all want. Good stuff. Okay, so moving straight into this next exercise. What Paul's going to be doing now, he's going to be doing a sit-up, but he's going to be going halfway down, so he's not going the whole way. When he comes up to the top of that sit-up, he's going to twist his torso to face the other direction. Tell me easy to be engaged again, my nose. This one's going to put a little bit of strain on our lower back, so it's extra important to engage that core throughout this exercise. As I said, he's twisting in a different direction each time. Notice that he's looking straight ahead in his hands as he twists, and that way his whole body, upper body, is going to be moving with the exercise. You just don't want to move your arms. This exercise is going to hit your lower abdominals. It's also going to hit your obliques, which are the muscles at the side that lead into the abdominals that give you that nice chiseled physique, guys. This is an excellent one for the obliques. Just make sure that you do keep your core engaged. So again, aiming for 15 of these. Try to dig deep now. Try to push through with this one and try to keep up with us as best you can. If it does get too tough for you at any point or it feels slightly too advanced, just pause that video, take a second, and then go again as quickly as you can. Excellent.
Okay guys, so moving into round three now, you've already worked extremely hard. So Paul's now going into some shoulder reaches. So essentially what he's going to be trying to do is to keep his back as flat as possible. He's trying to keep his shoulders and his hips square to the floor so that he stays completely parallel. Again, engaging the core while you're doing this is extremely important. Reaching your arms forward, trying to keep your arms in line with your shoulders as much as possible. Again, guys, we're going for 15 of these. That's your total definition zone. It's a good zone to work in, especially when you're doing body weight stuff and you're not incorporating weights. Excellent. Your feet want to be hip distance apart for this one, guys. So, moving into the next exercise now, Paul's going to be moving into some pulse sit-ups. Now, as the name suggests, he's going to be pulsing as he does this, rather than going all the way back. So he's basically starting from a position that's just past an upright posture, so that he feels that tension on the abdominals. Now that position, guys, is gonna be different for everybody, so you go back as far as you feel comfortable going. Once you've achieved and found that position, you're then going to pulse up and down, nice and slowly, nice and controlled, between those very small planes of movements, about two inches back and two inches forward. This really crunches those abdominals together, builds up the lactic acid. This one might burn a bit, guys, but don't worry, it'll go away as soon as you stop. This is a great one to really target the deeper core muscles, making sure, again, that your abdominals are engaged all the way through this exercise. Okay guys, moving into round four now. This is where it starts to get a bit challenging guys. You're gonna have to dig deep to get through this one. Okay, so Paul's gonna now go straight to 180 squats guys. As the name suggests, he's getting nice and low into these and he's really firing up. Twist it into the next one guys. You want to try and get as low as you can into these. You can do what you like with the arms, keep them in front of you, cover across the chest wherever you're more comfortable. 
them up, get nice and low, spring up. This should be a fire type movement. You really spring up and fire into that movement, guys. Okay, moving into the next exercise, then we're going to do two exercises per set. Okay, so Paul's going to lie down now. Hands are underneath his bum, nice straight arms, guys. And what this does is make sure that your hips are tilted in the correct direction. You want your hips tilted up, and that's why he's got his hands like this. Tummy's pulled in nice and tight. Make sure that your arms are right underneath. As he's doing this, he's bringing his knees into his chest. This one's working your lower abdominals. It's also working your hip flexors. Great for any of you sporting people out there. Great for football, great for strikers. Making sure that he's pushing through with his heels as if he's pushing a box away from himself, guys. Again, this one does put a little bit of strain in the lower back. Extra important to make sure that core is engaged. Suck that tummy in, navel into the spine. Very well done. Okay guys, you've made it this far, we've got round five now. Jumping left to right, so getting down nice and low, nice high jumps. Off we go, obviously this is gonna be the toughest round that you've done so far, but you've made it this far, guys, find that last bit of energy. Let's drive through together, getting nice and low. Jumping two or three feet left and right, depending on how fit and how much energy you've got left at this point. Okay, going down to the floor now, we're gonna go to the scissors. So the starting position is exactly the same as the position that you adjusted in your leg raises. Nice and wide with the feet, guys, bringing them back together. Nice and controlled, again, make sure that core is engaged. You've done so well to make it this far. You've got three rounds to get through. This is round one, let's really try and push now, guys. Engaging that core the whole time, try and relax. Remember to breathe, a lot of people hold their breath when they work out. Very important to keep breathing, guys, through the nose, out the mouth. Let's get this going. Almost there now. Last bit of energy that's really dry and get this done together. We are so hard.
you've worked really well today, you can all be extremely proud of yourself. Remember, every week we will be posting a new video. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, show us some love. Look forward to seeing you all next week. You can be extremely proud of what you've achieved today.